Why can't many people lose weight and how can we help them to keep the excess weight off the body permanently? So the short answer to both questions are the problem is of not being able to lose weight is insulin resistance and the solution is intermittent fasting. So let me elaborate on both of these. As a longevity coach, many of my clients uh, ask me questions on how to lose weight they struggle with losing weight because they have tried many things from eating less calories to doing more physical activities. But the weight gain, uh, insulin is not that simple, right? Some even resort to doing uh, liposuction and tummy tucks. Why do people go through such extreme, right? It's because they don't quite understand the insulin hormone that causes the weight gain. So let me try to make it e easier for you to, to understand uh, insulin resistance. So in a normal way, insulin process, right? The process is like you have a cell and then at the entry of the cell, you have the insulin interceptor. Let us call that a door gatekeeper. So then you got glucose in the bloodstream the, the sugar, which is the sugar in the bloodstream. The gatekeeper opens and lets some glucose to enter the cell. But that's how the normal process works. But when you have developed insulin resistance, so it's a cell, the door gatekeeper close the gate, right? They close the gate, uh, would not allow any glucose to enter. So then that's how the insulin levels go up and because insulin level is the main driver you know the higher the weight gain so it's hard for people to lose weight i hope that helps you to kind of visualize how insulin resistance occurs and the reason being is that uh, over the years let's say you or my clients or many people have eaten too much sugar for many people not all cases of insulin resistance, but most cases, people have eaten way too much sugar. So chances are the cell already has a ton of glucose in there, and there's a lot of glucose in the bloodstream. Yeah, the insulin receptor just wouldn't open the door anymore. So then the solution is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting lowers the insulin level, and this is the most effective way to lose weight is to lower your insulin level and why does intermittent fasting work well first i have to say that intermittent fasting is one of the foundational longevity practice because it activates longevity genes that slows down the aging process so it's a very compelling reason for you to practice intermittent fasting because it brings you multiple benefits. You, you slow down your aging process, you lose weight, and there's a ton of other benefits. Another longevity practice is movement outside in sunlight. So the more physical activities you do, well, moving out, outside in sunlight has multiple benefits. Why? Well, let's say I play tennis outside in the sunlight, right? I get more energy. I feel happier, uh, I get sunlight, vitamin D in my skin. Yeah, it makes me feel good. It helps me to sleep better at night. So that, that's at least two benefits right there, see? So intermittent fasting is crucial um, in terms of losing weight. And secondly, intermittent fasting is an ancient forgotten technique that has been practiced for, you know, millennia. Thousands of years, people have been doing intermittent fasting and it's more important today than ever before because of refrigeration right food is available 24 hours a day and now it's like with a few buttons on your cell phone you got food delivered right to your door you know people could be just eating all day long so that intermittent fasting is crucial to losing weight when you hear intermittent fasting 
Well, what is intermittent fasting? Fasting is a period where you don't consume food or calories. That's why when you eat breakfast, it breaks that fast. So that's intermittent fasting. The longer you go without food, you can drink water and tea and even coffee without sugar or cream added. So the longer you fast, your insulin level drops and you lose weight. If you think that Inter intermittent fasting is, is difficult, I would at least urge you to, to try it first. It's much easier than you think. So for example, you would go to sleep 10 p.m. and you wake up at 6 a.m. That is eight hours of sleep. And I hope that during this time you are actually sleeping and, and, and not wake up in the middle of the night and eating. So you got an eight hours effortless fasting right there, right? So what you do is when you wake up, normally if you, you wake up at 6 and you don't eat breakfast until 8 a.m., then you increase it by half an hour. So in the past, you eat breakfast or you drink coffee with calories in it at 8. Now you do it at 8.30. So that gives you an extra half of hour. And then during dinner, instead of eating at 8 p.m., you eat at 7.30 p.m. So Let's say you stop eating at nine, right? And then you don't eat again until 8.30. So 11 and a half hours right there. Intermittent fasting is much easier than you think, but like anything, it's, uh, you know, you need practice, right? I don't just play tennis once and become good at it. I keep on practicing and then eventually I get better at it. Same thing, just like anything. Uh, let's say you stop eating at 8 p.m. and then the following morning you eat breakfast at 8 a.m. that you break your fast so that's 12 hours long okay so thankfully you have around eight hours of sleep where you don't consume any calories in, in all this time or snack during the 12 p.m. to the 8 a.m. right so what you do is instead of eating your breakfast or drink your caloric coffee at 8 a.m. you increase to 8 30 a.m. and then you stop eating dinner half an hour earlier so instead of stopping eating at 8 you stop eating at 7 30 that increased an, to an extra hour so before you had 12 hours of not having any food in your body now you got 13 hours if you feel comfortable in the next couple of days do it again. Start eating your breakfast at 9 a.m. Uh, do the same thing for dinner. End your dinner by 7, right? So now uh, you got 14 hours of intermittent fasting and a week later or two weeks later, just doing the same thing. Ideally, you want to get to a fasted state of at least 16 but to 18 hours. Ideally, 18 hours of not having calories or food in, in your body. And during this time, you water is very helpful, tea is very helpful, even good old coffee without any sugar or cream, just plain coffee is very helpful for you. So that's how you do intermittent fasting. When I get hungry, you know, and I don't get hungry that often. And speaking of me, I only eat once a day. A couple of days a week where I, I break that cycle uh, because I don't want my body to go into like, you know, survival mode all the time. Anyways. So I usually eat once a day and I don't get hungry. And um, yeah, and I get a lot of energy and uh, just tons of benefits. So you do that and you should be able to, to lose weight, uh, keep the excess weight off your body consistently. And the more you do intermittent fasting, the more permanent you keep the weight off your body. It's that effective um, and I guess Another compelling reason to do intermittent fasting rather than spend a ton of money on, on losing weight, even drinking some of those whatever they're trying to sell you. It's just going to cost you money and intermittent fasting is free, it's beneficial to your longevity and I hope this helps you or your loved ones uh, keep the weight off and become much healthier. Thank you. Bye.